Marshmallow Fanboy back with another review, this time of AEW Unrivaled Collections, Penelope Ford. She's from Series 11, she's figure number 94. Now, it has all the gold gold foil like on her name here and up here next to the logo. In addition, it has the little portrait of her down here. So if you're storing it on a bookshelf or something, you can clearly see who that is. It's a great rear portrait that tells you exactly where this outfit was from. Dynamite on 6-18-2021 in Jacksonville, Florida. As well as all of the other figures in the line, including her stablemate, Kip Sabian, who uh, they've both been together since it came on the air anyway. Um, they had a, a big guy. I don't know if it was Rusev with them. But they used to kind of hang out on the side and play video games. And that was cool. Because I like video games. But Penelope Ford is a player. And she is... She's a good wrestler. And she is going to... I can't say be be women's champion. Can I? Yeah, I can. I mean, it's just speculation, right? Like, you know, she's, she's starting here. And she and Kip Sabian will probably be an intergender intergender tag um, couple and I see them being successful like like oh what is what is his name in Ty Conti um, they they captured inter intergender um, uh, tag gold at another promotion I can't remember but uh, very good wrestler and let's break her out and let's take a closer look at Penelope Ford Okay, now that Penelope Ford is free of her packaging, let's take a closer look at her. First, she has these two way open grips, and she comes with an extra pair of hands, which are both fists, which is awesome. Let's go over some of the accessories. Sunglasses come off. Hair, very nice. Um, no look up. Uh, a lot of look down. It's got a lot of look down. So she probably has a hinge on the back of her neck. Yes, she has a hinge on the back of her neck, which is nice. The jacket blunts any movement you can do with the arms. So I'll take the jacket off in a minute and go over that. See if she has a she has a joint right below the rib cage. It's not a barbell joint. It just swivels back and forth. But she also has a waist swivel as well. Same ball joint uh, legs and thigh swivel. Double knees, though it's hard to get that with the, the knee pad in the way. Let's see if I can push that up a little bit more. Okay. So you slide the knee pads around a little bit. On this leg, she has sort of a garter belt thing around here you can you can lift up on the knee pad and cover that if you want to or you can leave that exposed it has a little bit of a break here I don't know what that is like a little lock or something to keep it on maybe so just push that up and a swivel at the top of the boot she also has sw foot swivel or foot hinge and she has an ankle rocker. It's good motion. So why don't we take off the jacket and we'll see what's underneath and we'll see what kind of articulation she has in the arms. Okay, the jacket's off. It's a really solid piece. It's really nicely molded. But it is very uh, difficult to put it in any poses because the jacket sort of acts like a kind of like a like a straight jacket, just sort of no motion. So let's see what the wingspan is like for Penelope Ford. Wow, that is a lot of motion in the shoulders, bicep swivel.
double elbow. Hinge in the wrist. And that is all of the articulation in Penelope Ford's arms. It's a great costume without the, the jacket. I think she has a variety of different looks. So we could be seeing a lot of different Penelope Ford figures in the future. But until then, this is an excellent addition to the collection. Dig the sunglasses and the jacket that she always has. And uh, dig the, the, the ring gear. And she's going to look great on a shelf. So until next time, enjoy your toys.